When you log into Mail Channel's cloud, the first thing you see is a dashboard that summarizes your usage of the cloud service. Right at the top of the dashboard, we show you how many messages have currently been processed in your account. We show you uh, what percentage of your total monthly usage you've used up, and we show you what your projected usage will be if things continue on the same trajectory until the end of your billing cycle. We also indicate the estimated bill that you're going to pay at the end of the, at the, end of the period. Moving down the dashboard, we have a box that shows you about your email deliverability. At the left side, you can see the number of messages that have been submitted into the cloud service. You can see the number that we actually queued for delivery, and you can see on the right the number that were successfully delivered to the internet. And you can look at your deliverability st statistic by the hour, the day, or even by the week. Scrolling down, we summarize the top few senders who are submitting email through your account. And we do that by IP address, by sender ID, and by sender domain. Next, let's take a look at how MailChannel's cloud monitors the activity of email going through your account. Over on the left side, you'll see uh, a box marked activity. If you click on it, three items come up, the top senders, monitors, and alerts. Let's go ahead and click on top senders and see what that's all about. The top senders report shows you which IP addresses, sender IDs, and sender domains have contributed the most email to the Mail Channel's cloud service using your account within the past hour, 24 hours, seven days, or 30 days. By clicking the buttons at the top of the report, you can switch between total volume, detected spam, and rejections. Rejections means when a, a sender has submitted an email message into the system and it got rejected for any reason whatsoever. And over on the right, we can switch the time horizon from one hour to 24 hours to seven days or 30 days. One of the most awesome features of MailChannel's cloud is the ability to receive a notification when someone does something bad through your account. So for example, if one of the users that is sending email through your MailChannel's cloud account is compromised by a spammer and starts sending out a huge phishing attack, Monitors is the way that you can receive an alert of that activity so that you can clean up after their bad behavior on your, on your network. Let's see how it works. To add a monitor, you click the Add Monitor button at the right side of the console. Then you select from one of a number of different types of things that you might want to be alerted on. So for example, let's say that we want to be alerted when an IP address within your network has suddenly increased its volume of email. And let's say that you've got an email address, knock at example.com, where you like to receive these kinds of alerts. And that your network operations center doesn't want to be bothered more than once every 24 hours for a given uh, email issue. Then click enabled, hit the check mark, and away you go. Now, when an IP address has suddenly increased its email volume, a notification will be sent to knock at example.com at most once every 24 hours. If you want to get rid of a monitor, you click the trash can and it goes away. Monitors is a very simple feature, but very powerful because it enables you to proactively keep tabs on the users and systems and apps on your network and to take care of abuse when it happens. In addition to allowing you to set up monitors so that you can receive an email message or a webhook, when someone does something bad in your email stream, Mail Channel's cloud allows you to simply browse through all of the alerts that our system has generated in response to the email activity coming out of your systems. At the top of this listing, we can specify what kinds of alerts we're interested in. So let's go ahead and select sender ID as sending to invalid recipients, and that will zoom in on just the alerts relating to this particular type of abuse. One of the greatest features of MailChannel's cloud is that it gives you the ability to search through all of the email messages that have been submitted into the service for delivery to the internet. We call this feature log search, and it's very powerful, very fast, and easy to use. Let's say that you have an end customer who's having difficulty delivering a message where they're talking about Russian brides. So 
if I punch in the keyword into the search box and hit enter, immediately I can see all of the email messages where the word Russian appears somewhere in one of the email delivery fields. If I want to get more specific, I can pop down the advanced dialog and then select and insert specific fields that I want to search for. For example, if I want to put the word Russian into the subject line, I can do that, hit the button, and the results pop up. If I want to, I can drill into a particular search result. And if there was a problem with it, I can click the little flag icon to report an issue to mail channels. So now let's see how you can configure settings uh, in order to configure your use of the Mail Channels Cloud service. So I'm going to click on the Settings button at left and then on the Account button. At the top of the screen, I can see my list of SMTP passwords. And what I want to point out here is that with Mail Channels Cloud, it's actually possible to have multiple passwords assigned to your account. By clicking the new password button, a password will be automatically generated, and then you can give it a name to help you remember what it was used for. So let's say I'm creating a password specifically for my Exchange servers. I just punch that in, hit the check mark, and it's active. Later on, if my Exchange servers get hacked and I need to deactivate that password, I just simply come in here, click the enabled button, and no, no one can make use of that password to log in any longer. So the passwords feature allows you to add a layer of security to your infrastructure by having different SMTP passwords for different machines on your network. Mail Channels Cloud allows you to have more than one user associated with your account. Each user has the ability to log in to the cloud console, view logs, change settings, and otherwise manage your account. So if you have a multi-person team, this feature is great because it allows you to have many people with their own individual logins that you can disable or enable uh, depending on, on your needs. At the bottom of the account settings page is something called Mail Channels Insights. Mail Channels Insights is a feature for your end users. It allows your end users to get a look at their own email delivery logs within Mail Channels Cloud. When Mail Channels blocks an email message for one of your end users, they receive a URL in the error message that they can click on to bring them to the Mail Channels Insights page. The most important thing to note about this is that the end user gets a not spam button. So if they have sent a message that we accidentally blocked, they can click the not spam button click Confirm, and then Mail Channels Cloud will actually deliver their message and tell our support team that the message was filtered in error. If they click the green button to get Mail Channels Insights, then they'll receive an email message from Mail Channels allowing them to enroll in the Insights service and then log in to see all of their email delivery logs. And this is something we offer free of charge to all of our customers.